watch an interview the other day with Burner Boy and I think they were asking him about the purchase of said Birkin and his response was being who he is who he, and him classify himself as a city boy he must say right now this moment him could have tell she and everybody else who is in the studio to pack up let's go shopping and he could have carry her and them go get whatever the fuck them want you don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news. Wagwan people on a big up on a cell, flame the man, shame the messy flame tat na man coming up. Businessman speaks about female recording dancehall artist Shensia and international artist Stefan Dan. Mm -hmm. People check out what the businessman have to say. You the viewers leave your honest thoughts in the comment section. And him also talk about massacre. I mean the Stefan Dan. Jada Kingdom battle right now. Many people have been calling for dancehall artist Massacre to step forth to prove his power within the space. But let's face it, if you've been following Massacre's career for the past 10 years or more, you would know that right now Massacre is what in what we would call celebratory mode. Massacre has gone ahead and proven himself worthy. To beat him chest and call himself the baddest thing. This is why. He has gone up amongst some of the greatest. Some of the greats. Who were already ahead of him in the race. But they did not entertain him. They disrespected him. Humiliated him. And what we call style him. But now he passed them people in the race. And are maintained better than them. I remember one of these guys came on TV and said. Who? Oh, you're talking about your sacrifice career. You're not a career youth. Where is that person's career now? compared to massacre so he has proven that he does not need to prove his powers through lyrical battles the only person who would be worthy of massacre's time right now is Kaleido. Kaleido sacrificed his own growth and career to assist massacre's career so if massacre entertain Kaleido, we can understand that but why now would a man who has been enjoying such great international success such great record sales, such great international deals, such great international press press presence. Stop his celebration. To prove to who? To prove what? Who will he go up against? Who will Massacre go up against now? To say that, yo, me are the man. The people who were supposed to go up against him then did not want to. And in fact, most of those people are now at his feet. Saying respect Jenna because that's how life is so at this point in the game massacre don't need the controversy and what you the fans are looking for is not for him to prove his greatness or to prove his prowess you are looking for him to create some form of controversial stir within the space for him name called for 15 years and then stop when two new people start again massacre career don't need that right now when he needed controversy he was not offered the support other than that of Kaleido. So right now, Massey, you focus on your success, focus on your winning, focus on your international projections. And that's important right now. No worry about no beef and no battle with nobody. Because in fact, like I said, them no worthy of your time and attention within the space right now. Continue beating the chest and call yourself the greatest. Because you are showing your greatness through your work without controversy, without lyrical battles. You understand? Dancehall artist Tanto Blacks have this to say about female recording dancehall artist Shensia and international artist Stefan Dan. People, check out what Tanto Blacks have to say. Real sample man, you know. <laughs> yeah, the two queen them are going good. It's Boji. The Jamaican yeah, the Yankee boy represent for the two queen them. Jada Kingdom won by seven more Perkins. I mean, I better know, say, if you take London, we have a vintage in Jamaica. If you the vintage, it's there in a rose rice there. So I need a custom rose rice. I tell her that, my baby. The two are not at all going good. Right now, no organic. Organic, brother. Organic. 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 Yeah, no organic. Remember me telling you that. Excuse me. <laughs> So people, I come across a video over on TikTok. It's a very interesting video with a woman I tell a story about an ex-woman or she kill her husband, Jaja God, all because through the sweets, you know. 
me I tell you, you have to watch yourself in these times sometime who you feel like real best believe I are worse enemy. Anyhow, it's a very interesting one, so check it out and leave your honest thoughts in the comment section about the situation. Are you brave or foolish enough to be cheating on your spouse while they're in another room in your own home? This is precisely what 25-year-old wife and mother Alicia Noel Murray was doing with her lover downstairs while her 37-year-old Jamaican-born husband, Omar Murray, was upstairs with their 10-month-old baby. This extramarital affair would end with Omar being gunned down in his own home by the hands of his own wife. This is the story of infidelity betrayal and greed. Omar Murray, along with his siblings and their mother, had migrated from Jamaica. Having been married before, his first marriage ended in divorce. However, when Omar met Alicia, a registered nurse, he committed to making this marriage last and so he did everything to make her happy. Two years later, everything changed. Alicia, a vibrant, flashy woman with a father born in Grenada and a mother also a registered nurse from Guyana, joined her life with Omar's. After getting married, they purchased a home and began their life together. Despite Omar being a hard-working and well-paid iron worker, Alicia's appetite for brand name shopping sprees, vacations, and excessive spending was more than he could manage. And so... She believed that Omar was worth more dead to her than alive. In February 2013, Omar asked his wife what she wanted to eat as she laid in bed, and then he left for the grocery store. On his way back, he was ambushed in his own building in broad daylight and shot three times in the chest. He later died at hospital. Investigations into the murder revealed that Alicia had orchestrated the hit so she could claim her husband's 900,000 US dollar insurance policy. She had also previously stolen 100,000 US dollars from her mother. Alicia had confided in her lover, Damien Lovell, that she wanted her husband dead. Lovell had informed the investigators that yes, Alicia was his girlfriend and that they had been intimate multiple times in the woman's home while her husband was upstairs sleeping or caring for their baby. She then asked him to find someone to kill her husband because she had tried to poison him before but that had failed because Omar was rushed to the hospital where he was admitted and treated. Following that, they got a first person to try and kill Omar, but that person shot and missed. Alicia and her lover then regrouped and hired Kirk Porteous to carry out the murder for $3,500 US dollars, providing him with a $500 deposit. And Alicia gave him Omar's own gun to carry out the crime. After Omar was killed, Alicia attempted to cash out the insurance policy within days of the murder. A little over a year after Omar's death, Alicia remarried, taking out a life insurance policy on her second husband. However, in 2017, Alicia and the men involved in her husband's death went to trial and were sentenced. Alicia Noel Murray received a life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. The hitman, Kirk Porteous, also received a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Alicia's former lover, Damien Lovell, testified against them in exchange for a 15-year life sentence. So people, Dalton Harris released a freestyle video in the freestyle. The man a chat up a crocus bag of things and say, Oi, a whole heap of them a fish boat here in a from when, you know, so what make a him them want for hang? The man say, Oi, you see, if the wall could have just stuck, remember, them business, they all about the place about ya. People, I'm going to run the freestyle. You, the viewers, tell me what you feel about what Dalton Harris has said in the freestyle.
Microphone check check Microphone check check When me said this, well he papi put a go get upset Yo hm. The man, them a watch me and me no know why Them watch every episode like family guy Now nah, I beg nobody finna blood clot lie Connected to me family like the Wi-Fi Them have my back and me know said them have mine So we not be worry, everything is alright Flow a switch, I do this when me live me no easy The boy, the girl, they pan into them and she a preemie She want me fish and her a picture on my penis But brother me, I beg you ask your girlfriend to leave me Singing, reading and loving that I'm me hobby But if she fuck around, she might get somebody Me shy and me swear, but my boyfriend don't but my girlfriend like the bad guy side like Billy Eilish, what can I put with your eat? I wish my body on my skin now my voice kinda nice-ish What kind of flight we have wood? Private <laughs> Well some time-ish yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are bigger fish, so why am I fi hang? If only the walls could attack on them But the people they bought from long ago when But some of them just switch up on the money them must send Now nah, cause no problem worth the shing gang Me not friend nobody, my family, yeah, my friend Yeah me say me nah friend nobody, me family and yeah, me friend Yo, man I nah, no bad man, hear that clean Now nah, go be no sad man, wife is laid clean The man they call me but the man said them off fish at the man Them girl I get gangy bang, my cocky too sweet Me win next factor in a 2018 Them say me do my body like photoshop and creatine 10 million year, 2 years before 18 Love music like when cigarette man a smoke nicotine Some people say me no have no fucking behavior A same thing my boyfriend did a say ask me neighbor She ask me for your link the other day but me no care for She always here when him a take this way Shaker, ah, the song you might do better than Papa But conscious music now get no vibes for ya Them and them think me sweet cause me vocals major A country me come from so don't fuck with a boy ya Them is my father, my mother name Sylvia Spallings me born right out of Percy Junior Used to go up up the spring to go care what Go Spallings go look y'all flock out of the Papa Don't talk to me if you don't know all the pop <laughs> Hey, don't talk to me if you don't know all the Papa Bobsy Grinch can we have a conversation about gender? So may I go call you when the phone ring answer? Did you sell? Big up yourself, you are the sponsor. Bumbo Ross, like then the sang your dead lungs, sir. Aha! Yeah, yeah. Now I try to be a dancer, I'm just trying to be a creative soul. Maybe this time I'm 11. Check that. Before you come in, just check that. Some people are going to judge, come and cause somebody. But what the fudge? Peace and love. <laughs> Peace and love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make me take fuck. You did make me that. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you can't do your brother about man fuck your picture and you know. Me tell him say you're about the man right there. Say you're about brother. You're stealing. <laughs> yeah, man. You're not good again, brother. Oh, the bomb book, People, TikTok blogger, hardball forward out and the man about him fire upon the Prime Minister, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run where I have to say, you the viewers leave your honest thoughts in the comment section if you agree with what I say or you disagree. The Prime Minister's status declaration is a must before him call the election. Jamaican people never sit down. Full time, we make a wise be heard. We want to know the six criminal then. It's a must. We want to know the six. Maybe my little wife now go no way no, but me still am make nice. Me still am make nice. We want to know the six criminal them and we want to know the Prime Minister's status declaration. When we see the heights of corruption and determination with corruption. And a man like that we turn against him party supporters them. Look much of them party supporters them turn against. I don't treat that too. I'm gonna go trust him, give my next term. Let me tell you something. See him like how the ordinary man can go rope time, and you want it on him, combo loads and can go rope time, save you a piece in a buckle, and ride bike, just like the average man them. And you're in prison for two. Car. In a, in, in a other country, and you want it to run the government. And that's so much corruption. 
and the corruption and could destroy the party. But we want to destroy this administration. I tell you something, we want to turn against one another. You know, it will happen. It will happen, it shall happen. You're wicked against the people, the people are wicked against you. You come around the people, they want to kill them eight years out of promises. At the time, the people have been choked like a rock pound. You see the Prime Minister feels shame now. Notice, you know. They start off. The Prime Minister wife start off with town hall meeting. With about 200 here. And about 11 somebody pull up, pull up the auditorium. Members say every campaign meeting then go on and um, campaign trail in the 2023. Down last year. Members say every one of them flopped. Mm -hmm. They're not flop yet. Then I flop it when the Prime Minister losing seat, Miss Wallace losing seat, Darry Wiles losing seat, Christopher Tupplan losing seat, the Minister of Security losing seat, seen, the Minister of Education losing her seat, Flight Green losing seat. Then you know, say, yeah, the administration they get demolished. Then I go sit down now and put a new brand administration with somebody who can run the party. I'm not tea for the party. Not tea for the country. I'm not a party, I'm a tea for. Until that day come out rolling. And you, how you make them money go to prison? You know how to promote the government. 36 years ago. As at the first CMP ago in a power so long. 36 years. And we have to work with that 36 years. Eh? We have to work, we have to weather this storm. So Jamaicans do the right thing. Don't make nobody use no food. Don't make nobody use no sweet talk, no promises. We know about them. A 21st century, no, no, no. We must grow, we must understand, we must have knowledge. Knowledge they write our fingertip. Make these body boys stop trick way. You see, Chanel, no, no politician can come to me and believe them. Can them say tell you that no be gain in trust? And when they say, they might tell you things that you're not gain in trust now, they get confused. And that is a good move. So, be up on yourself. Everybody stay safe. Hard bar talk of channel bars. You don't know what you think of. Now nah, stop burning the fire. Till we see righteousness. We now nah, stop burning the fire. Till we see righteousness. Righteousness, righteousness is the key of life. Righteousness is the way to go. Unification, JLP unite, PNP unite, Jamaica unite. Make we make the politicians in turn fool and confused and then so they must start make mistake and reveal themselves. The more we unite are the are the weaker them get. I see the Prime Minister get weak one way there because the Jamaican people are united. The Jamaican people are made their be heard. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. That we are defend. Free speech. That alone we know. We don't know who we are going with hate speech. Fuck that. No hate speech on Free speech. Nothing go on free speech. Nothing more than free speech. Free speech alone. Big up on the stage. All the time. You don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news.